tip, that middle class famous tour is a cooking. Hachi. This thing's selling Hachi. itself. But just in case, we're going to hit you with it right now. Gang, do yourself a favor. Stand up comedy show. Then we play the little AYG with the crowd. Grab the squad. Come out and see us. Great way to introduce new people to the show. Mm -hmm. It's a super, super fun time. I promise you. Yeah, gang. Coming up in November, we got two hot shows down there in hot Atlanta as part of the Red Clay Comedy Festival. You can get individual tickets for that or tickets to the whole fest yourself. Then the next night, we're banging over there to Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. North Carolina, South Carolina. Get them tickies if you're close because that's the last time we're coming this year. Uh, Then we got two sold out ones in Philly. Mm. You snooze, you lose. We added one in Providence, Rhode Island in December. Get those tickets. And we added another one in Boston as well. Get those tickets because those are going to sell out. They're selling. Grab them. We're telling you right now. Come see us. See you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Isn't it? A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that they grow up to be classy. Yeah. So they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. Unfortunately, she just hit by a car. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Which was parked. Okay. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He's an international businessman. He is not to be trifled with in the boardroom or the bedroom. <laughs> Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> okay. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, new guy Luke don't want us. Through the roof. There you go. Oh, my God. I do. We're talking about a try hard. Toby. <laughs> Come back, T-Bone. You're killing me. Uh, and then obviously the greatest goddamn website of all time, uh, www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. Check it the fuck out. It's a party over there. Gang. Damn, love that money. Woo-wee. And gang, as you know, T-Bone McMuffin is ill. He's sick. Uh, a little cold, a little sniffles, the flu, whatever He's you have. He's got corona. <laughs> what you He's got COVID. Then we start asking questions. I know. Yeah, Toby's got a hot case of fucking Delta, I'll tell you that. Well, we got new guy Luke filming, and he's a good-looking kid, a little stupid, not going to lie. <laughs> but Quite we hairy, him. too, this yeah, fucking kid. Your chest hair is wild. Yeah. You got a pickup there. He's on nervous that. on the I mic. I got a lot. <laughs> it's my first time. <laughs> this is your first time ever talking into a microphone? I think it's your first time in public, to be honest with you. Yeah. First sure. time ever talking into like, a microphone. I mean, yeah, maybe like uh, middle school, like uh, like auditorium, something like uh-huh. that. You never did karaoke or anything like that? Karaoke? I mean, we're not counting that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a showman. I mean, give me, Starts doing Hall and Oates. Give me a dozen Bud Lights, yeah. Sure. Gang, new guy Luke, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a nice boo, round of applause. Boo. We love you, pal. Um, Gang, let me tell you something right now. Got a hot show ahead of us here. Uh-huh. Could not be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest, here with us today an for old the pal. first time. An old pal. I tell him all the time. He's one of my favorites. He killed when we do shows together in the city. I stand, I watch him, I get a nice giggle. I love this guy to death. He's a very funny stand up comedian and actor. You've seen him in, but not limited to Super Troopers. Oh, stand yeah. up with John Knorr. You got the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. How about that? The Late Show, Stephen Colbert, has a 2020 special out called Graham K. Stupid Jokes. And I'll tell you this right now. Here's the turkey. What's that? If you go over to that YouTube right now, uh-huh. youtube.com slash Graham K. Comedy, you could check out his brand new amazing special, Graham K. Live in a Bowling Alley. Do me a favor. Give it up. Graham K, everybody. Hey, that's me. There he is. That was a great intro. Thanks, pal. I felt good about myself. I meant that. I tell <laughs> you, you that all the I've always told you that before we even like really good you, friends. He, he, he kills me. You're a sweet I stand man. there and I watch it. I'm dying. Stupid, laughing. So don't, don't you, take it. Don't, I know. He's a bit I, I, smarted. Yeah, yeah, so don't yeah, take yeah, it as yeah, a. He's yeah. my speed, I, man. I, the kid's just funny. I don't know what to tell you. I'd always give him a co- cookie and say, yeah. yeah. Thank, okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. My uh, sugar's th- low. Thank you so much. I think obviously you're both very funny and thank a big you. fan of the show. Buddy, thank, thank you so much. Thank you for coming and sitting with us. Congratulations on the special. Thank you. What is the backstory of Graham K? We know you're a Canadian fella. You're a real hoser. That's a that's a slur. Oh yikes! Well, then I <laughs> meant yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 oh, you come from a whole family of hosers too. There is a Canadian. My people have been through enough. They didn't come here. <laughs> there is a mild American slur that's very, very uh, that really <clears throat> pisses people off in Canada. I can't remember exactly what it was. It's it's something like douchebag or something. Do you know what I'm talking about? 
the American slur for Canadians? No, 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 Or no, no. we call you? No, no, no. no. no there's it's a, all right, hold on. Something no, I, that's I, harmless I, down here, yes. but up there, it's like, it's I'll It's what kill they you. call in jail, they call pedophiles or something. Oh, goof. Goof, yeah. Yeah. You're goofy, or this guy's a real goof. It's like, whoa, it's like, yeah. you're fucking- that is, I didn't. They'll suffocate you with a bag of milk up there. That's perfect. <laughs> there was, I didn't really know. Like, I, you know, people don't, people don't like, like hockey players, they call it, if you call somebody a goof. You uh, get hockey players like, have their own they vernacular. Their, they do. They had they a do. nice, they got a nice head of lettuce. Head of lettuce. Dude. Buddy, tarps off, let's go. Yeah. That means take your shirt off. <laughs> That's That's gonna, right. We're doing yeah. that for a Patreon episode. Yeah. We're just going to go through all the fuck. Yeah. They, they were ho- Canadian hockey Buddy, players. Buddy, I'll fucking tune you up right now. Yeah. Tarps yeah. off. Drop the mitts. All right. You're fucking done, bud. Mitts. mitts. Absolutely ruin you. Um, I, I wouldn't, but, um, <laughs> not me, but a guy, I, I, I was in one hockey fight growing up. I field, I, I got, <laughs> I got sent to a, <laughs> she was big though. <laughs> she was the coach. Okay. <laughs> she was big. I went for the biggest one. <laughs> when I, let me tell you, you grab the biggest one. You own the litter. <laughs> when I found out that men played field hockey in other parts of the world, I was like, "God damn, that's wild." My 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 uh, wife's whole family, really? Oh, they're all the everybody played. That's what they played the hockey. I, the Do they Irish wear the skirts? All, like all their friends. I don't know if they wear the skirts. All their friends. They're like, that's where they all met. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boncos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, USA. they're all gay. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> don't tell her why. What's yeah. wrong with it? Yeah. Graham, give us the backstory, baby. Where are you from? I was. In, I'm from Ottawa, Ottawa, Canada. Florida specifically, got represent. We're gonna have a great year. There you go. No <laughs> Could sense. you get more wrinkles on it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, did you iron that with an egg beater? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I slept in a Corvette last night. It's not a good system. To what you do is you you wash your clothes. Uh huh. And then you uh, you get distracted or you you lazy. You run out of time. Yeah, of course. Yeah, see when you, when you hustle like me, <laughs> when you're always on the grind, uh, sure. you run out of time. I know. And uh, I, you know, I guess I, this was in the drawer. I figured by the time that that's wild. To, that that made, that's wild. That made it to the drawer. Yeah, you would have said I, I forgot. It was the on laundry. the corner of the bed. I get it. Yeah, not good. Because you don't. Do you have a unit in the apartment? Do you have a washer yes. and dryer? Yes. You do. Wait, what? in your in the basement. In the, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. Yeah. okay, so you got to go down to the basement. I do this. I walk to the laundry mat next door. Yeah. You wash them. You dry them. Then you just throw them in the bag. And you bring them upstairs. You got to get to them in like two seconds. But what screwed. if you're grinding? Yeah, if you're out there you're grinding. Up, Gary no. V don't have time yeah. to fold clothes. No. Elon Musk wrinkled clothes. No. no. Uh, I'm from Ottawa. Uh, <laughs> right back into it. <laughs> this guy's a professional. Man. He don't have time. He's grinding his Buddy, guy. Buddy, I got to get this over with so we can get to the next segment. And I, <laughs> I got three minutes. I got a commercial uh, I break. Got, Let's just, I got specials to move. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about my goddamn laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the, uh, you know. There's, there's just the, there's no fluff and fold. It's sure. Just fluff. No, I, hey, I, fluff. I understand. I understand. You jam it in the IKEA bag. So you don't fold it in the in the laundry mat, I would assume. I bring it up, uh, and I leave it. I usually try and fold it. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, you know, there's I got stuff. Sure, you got stuff going on. You know, I gotta go to bed. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. Yeah. I yeah. hate it, man. I hate I, the laundry. Ah, I, I hit it quick. Crazy. I just know that two hours or whatever is gonna fucking suck, and that's just what I do. Yeah. It's tough. Well, you're good. That's All right. Quiet. Back quiet. to quiet. Ottawa. But anyway. Uh, Mom, dad, brothers, sisters laying on us. I got uh, I got a dad. Uh-huh. I got a mom. Okay. Okay, you. I got a brother. Cool. Uh-huh. And uh, he has autism. Okay. And I uh, take care of him a lot growing up. Now, older and, or younger? Uh, he's younger. Younger? Three years younger. Verbal, nonverbal? Um, verbal, but he's, you know, 36 now, and he has a... Uh, you know, he, 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 he's like a five-year-old or six-year-old. Gotcha. Like he sent, yesterday he sent a um, picture to everybody. Um, Don't of, make me laugh at this, whatever yeah. it's going to be. Come on. <laughs> like the the, the tension is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, he sent out, I'm like, oh, God. He has an email list. If you get on the email list, you're, on, you're just on it. You can't get off it. Uh, is that true? Yeah, one lady. One, one lady. One lady. One lady asked yeah. to get off. From, she signed from up. His special needs program was like, get me off this email list. <laughs> and he was like, you don't, you don't talk to me that way. He <laughs> I called liked it. it. He called her a damn blasted woman. Oh. And I was like, where do you get damn? Well, bla- I think it's because he just. Is he from Deadwood? No, I think. <laughs> he, I think that's you get those your insults if you only watch. Inspector Gadget. You have I'm Inspector you. Gadget. <laughs> you know. I'm with you. Anyway, he sent a picture. Of uh of of a toothbrush, uh, okay. that he got ninety four people. 
Of a, <laughs> 94 new people are on this list. We don't even have 94 people on our email yeah. list. Uh, he's good. Who, he's good. Little... He collects them and he does, you are on. on. There's no MailChimp unsubscribe. <laughs> I love that. And he, one time, so he, so Greg Stone. I don't, you, you, I'm very familiar. Yeah, previous guest. Shout, shout out, out to yeah. Stoney. Greg Stone's on it. Because uh, Greg, Greg Stone gave him some uh, Spider-Man figurines, Aww. and so you, you know he's on the he's on the email list. Can't get off. Um, and he sent him. He's <laughs> the like, lifetime member. Greg Stone was like, I was having a bad day, you know, and um, and uh, and I saw this like group email, and I was like with a picture, and I was like, ah, people are always trying to, you know. And he's sure. like, you know what, from Peter, let me click on it. And it was just a picture of him making a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Dude, that'll brighten my and day. He was like, "Mass is all right. This is all right. Life, <laughs> life's, life's pretty good. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? What am I all? What yeah. am I upset yeah. about? This is a grown man with a grilled cheese sandwich. I love it. Take a pic of this. Does he still live with your mom and dad? Uh, they, uh, all my, all of their extra, like all their savings, or well, not their, their, but all my like inheritance, they used to to buy him a one bedroom apartment. Gotcha. Wow. And um, which is fine. This way it should be. Um, but uh, push yeah. that special. Yeah, yeah. YouTube.com yeah, slash special. Graham K. <laughs> Please. Uh, but he, man, yeah. you're a good person. I'd be real pissed about that. <laughs> I'm mad camera. about it right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, this is. This did is, they sit down and tell you that? Like, hey, listen. They did. They did. But th th this is in my act. But I, I'm, I, I have like a newer joke about it where I'm like, because this, this is new. This isn't in my la my newest special. But whatever. They said they sat me down. They're like, we, this, you know, you're gonna have nothing. But we don't. He can't be on the streets. Sure. So that's the way it is. But he has his own one bedroom apartment. I have my. I, he's still like, he can't count. And we're like trying to get him to like. I, he's, he lost his job in the pandemic. And what was he doing? Uh, he was like a part time janitor just okay. to like keep him busy or sure. whatever. And we. I would like. I, 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 he started drinking more. We're trying to figure out like how, like how much is he, he really? drinks? He's drinking? Yeah, he goes to the store, buys this guy's them. All right, grilled cheese and brews. Let's no, go. Can, no one can stop him. He's got an ID. <laughs> He's thirty six years old. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy's got a a, a banging email yeah, list. Yeah, He's eating grilled cheeses. He's got a new toothbrush, and he's drinking a couple of bats. Show he's drinking. Off. He drinks Labatt Blue because yeah. blue's his favorite color. Oh, yeah, that's big, true. We call him Big Tasty. Yes. <laughs> and uh, shout out to Labatt Blue. And he goes, yeah, right. and he's like. And he, I was, I'm trying to figure out like how many beers he has, and he, and and he, but he can't count, so it's hard for me to ask him. I'm like, about how many beers you have? And he's like, buddy, and he gets angry at me when I ask him questions. <laughs> who's, who's, who's asking him? Yeah. What, what the fuck you doing? Yeah. He talks to me like I'm an idiot sometimes, or he knows I know the answer. So I'm like, how many beers do you have? And he goes, uh, uh, Graham, I can't count. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah, idiot, yeah, yeah, you idiot. <laughs> Which is like a weird <laughs> sentence to hear. <laughs> yeah. I can't count you, stupid idiot. You're like, I am an idiot. You're right. Stupid asshole. I knew the answer. Yeah. Anyway, so he's entitled because, like, I'll, I'll be, he'll be like, um, you know, why don't you live in your own one bedroom apartment? He says that to you. To me. Yeah, you poor I'll, motherfucker. I had you roommates. my beers. You lose. You could, how about you, yeah. Get, a, yeah. you get your fucking get act your together. shit together yeah. and lose the roommate. Can get your, a job take, working. Take your wrinkled shirt back to Brooklyn, <laughs> right? Or every buddy, <laughs> his his shit is folded. That is true. Um, he, uh, anyway, he's like, <laughs> dude, the fact that he's he's throwing shade at you. He does. Is my favorite. Get thing. You. <laughs> This guy's all right. Get your shit together. Get a get a get a job being a janitor six hours a week. <laughs> get your own one bedroom apartment. And uh, and I was like, he's like, why don't you have your Graham? Why don't you, he always asked me like, why don't you have your own one bedroom apartment? <laughs> sure. You know, I had roommates yeah. until I was this guy thirty seven <laughs> years old. I had roommates, <laughs> and he and I'd be like, buddy, I can't have my own one one bedroom apartment. So expensive because I can count. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very I, true. really jamming yeah. you up, yeah. jamming Counting me up thing. big time. Anyway, is so, he close to your? Is he close nearby here where your parents are? He lives close to them now. Uh, Does yeah, he ever they, get in trouble with the booze? Like he just drinks in his apartment and goes to bed. He doesn't ever like get in. There are the only trying to trying to trouble he gets in is during family reunions. He gets. Pretty this guy. Are you talking yeah, about Yeah, he's me out right there now? fucking owning everybody. What are you talking about? <laughs> one, time, <laughs> one time he was like, You live with roommates? Yeah, they're my kids. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, Uncle Steve. <laughs> Go get me infinity beers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Put a pin in the, the family reunion. I have, before I forget, what is like, give, do you have a ballpark of the number of beers that he's doing? Like a sixer? Or well, here's the thing. Can so, he put him down? Is he a big dude? My, my uh, yeah, he's a big dude. He's he's a big dude. He's uh as tall you know, as you. He's a couple of inches you're a, short. You're a, you're a 
brick shit house. Big guy. He's my brother is probably twenty pounds more than me. Okay, okay. and uh, but he he's like <laughs> so way cooler too. He, he's the coolest. <laughs> you stink, right? Yeah, I do stink. You know what? My grilled cheeses they're not that good. They burn. I bet you put yeah. some nice grilled cheese yeah. too. Yeah. He, anyway, so he he's like um, my buddy. Who uh, my buddy from high school? Mm -hmm. Like uh, they, he takes him out. My my two best friends from high school take him out for lunch every now and again. And yeah, it's awesome. Out. And uh, they were like, "Yeah, my buddy Mike was like, uh, so how many?" <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, I returned all my cans and I got money." Mm -hmm. And he's like, "How much money did you get?" And he was like, "He was like twelve dollars." <laughs> That's I'm a like, lot oh of my cans. Dear God, <laughs> like four hundred beers. So many. <laughs> So many beers. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, this guy's the drinking champ of Canada. Yeah. I don't even know it. So, you know, but he were, he, now he's not drinking on the weekdays. That's good. Um, it's progress. Me too, actually. Yeah. yeah. That's a similar move. So yeah. he's cool with that. He knows he knows not to drink during the week. He, to, he does say, you know, Graham, sometimes we just forget. Sure. What day it is. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Bogged down with these details. He's yeah. out here grinding. Yeah, he's out there. Yeah. So, sometimes party. Wednesday's the weekend. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's, yeah. Uh, that's anyway, he would he go to family reunion and uh, and some one, sometime he would like uh, he would one one year he. he when do these take place? By the way, is, is are, are the and where is it your this mom's side or your dad's reunion. side? Aunt Janet's house. Oh, of Thanksgiving. Yeah, idiot. Of course, yeah. it's well, Aunt Janet. That's not a family reunion. That's Thanksgiving. No. Oh yeah, whatever. Family okay. get together. Okay. And uh, he was just like uh, I think he was like. Uh, Tickling everyone's girlfriend or wife, and then uh, yes, giving, awesome. uh, giving wet willies to the boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so al fuck? alpha dog shit. You mean shit. the coolest fucking yeah. 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 world? So well, so you're telling me your brother's awesome. Yeah, it is. It is. Awesome. Imagine tickling a dude's girlfriend. It is awesome. And then giving him a wet willy. Yeah. <laughs> that is the yeah, most. Yeah. In a great way, yeah. the most disrespectful shit I've ever yeah. heard. Yeah, and but everyone kind of just takes it because <laughs> yeah, everyone grew up with them. But we're kind of like, but the women are uncomfortable, so you have to. You have to kind of. Assert you have to at kind some of, point. and yeah, also yeah. he rides the bus. So you don't know what's going on on the bus. Hey, Jesus Christ! <laughs> you know, he would, we we taught my dad one time. My dad took him to Florida. That's the and most Canadian shit going around giving every everybody wet willies. Yeah, uh, my dad had to buy him uh, big sunglasses because he was creeping everyone out at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was like, we we were trying to teach my my dad was trying to teach him the side eye. Wait, your dad, your dad he's like, you can't. What my dad doesn't want. My, my dad never, doesn't my dad never showed me how to be a creep yeah. on a Florida beach. What? Well, here's the thing. My dad is a. He's like. He doesn't want him to get arrested or beat up. Of course, we also which have he can do. He very easily he get 100%. beat up and arrested. And, and he also know like it's a behavior you're not going to change. You kind of have to sure. try to. Yeah. You have to modify it a little bit. You know, you, you if you tell him like, hey, you can't look at. Yeah. The, the, the ladies on the beach. Yeah. It's not probably going to process. It's, you got to make sure do it this way a little. Totally. It's super hilarious. And then sure, you're like, oh, he those, could yeah. get he could get messed up pretty of bad. Of course. And um, and, yeah, he, what, and he won't know what's going on, mm -hmm. which is, you know, but yeah, so I don't any, like that. That's why I asked yeah. you how he is with, with, with the boozing. Yeah, exactly. So it's anyway, it's a whole thing. But he my dad bought him these glasses because he was teaching him the side. eye. like, like, OK, look, you can't stare. OK, you, Directly, can, yeah. you know, people are going to get creeped out. So he's like, what you just you stare, you stare for it, but you move your eyes. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, OK, and you do that. And then just. <laughs> turn in, the eyes would turn, follow. The head would follow the head very follow quickly. He's like, okay. We, so he bought, my dad bought me these like giant, like nineteen uh, seventies, uh, like cataract poker glasses. player. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. yeah, yeah. What he should do is get on the ones with the mirror with the mirrors and the thing, so he yeah. can really creep. Get a three sixty. Yeah. Going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh man. Uh, your brother sounds awesome. He's yeah. the best. He is. He's the man for sure. So he, he's younger. He, yeah. He's What'd younger. your mom and dad do growing up? My mom. Uh, so here's the thing. I don't think I'm going to make the cut for being uh, garbage. Okay. Um, I, will, I'll, I will determine. All that. right. That's fair. Okay. So we, we grew up, by, when my, uh, we were like lower, more just middle class. And my mom worked at the Canadian Post Office. Okay. Uh, in, the, in the head office. Ooh. And um, my the dad. head office in your town or the head office for? The country. Really? Yeah. And uh, so. My dad was, uh, he sold computer uh, software. Software. And he went, traveled like town to town. And at one point, he uh, lived in Montreal, which is two hours away. He like spent Monday to Friday there because he tried to start like a, 
a Best Buy style computer store. Okay. Nice. But with like the uh, but the problem is he needed the the in order to get the funding from the bank he needed to get like in partnership with uh, a rich family okay. like one of the richest families in Canada the people who make like Crown Royal and um, I didn't know that was Seagram's. Canadian. Yeah, yeah Seagram's, Seagram's Canadian. And uh, Seven, a Canadian club whiskey, right? Yeah. Seagram's. Kip, you know what I like? I like that Helix mattress. Love that Helix mattress. Love Helix. You know who else likes the Helix mattress? Who's that? The Foley family. Really? Because I got the sister-in-law to make a purchase for the little one. There you go. She's like, what's the name of that company that you would that, that you, you mean all the on? greatest fucking mattress company of all fucking That's time? That's what I'm I told correct. her. I'm talking Helix. I told her, go on a website, take the quiz, see what the kid likes to sleep in, see how it goes. You sleep hot, you sleep cold. They even got mattress for the big boys like us. You take the quiz. They match up with a mattress that's perfect for you. Baby, I promo was, code garbage. I was matched up with the old uh, Twilight series. Mm-hmm. Love that king size mattress. Jerked off in it today. <laughs> no big deal. King uh, size mattress, <laughs> small size penis. How's that supposed to be? No, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks smaller in the king size. I know. Size. I mean, what do you expect? In a twin, I'm hung. <laughs> I know. I'm a porn star in a twin. You getting that Helix? The Helix big boy. Yeah, tiny you're, coming in. Uh, guys, the cracks. Helix is offering up to two hundred mattress. Two hundred. Hold on. Helix is offering up to two hundred dollars off all mattress orders Look at and that. two free pillows two for free our pillows. listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash garbage, guys. I'm telling you, it's the best sleep of your life. Be a grown up. Get a nice mattress. They got uh, easy payment options. It ships right to your door for free. If you don't like it, you send it right back. They take care of you. Helixsleep.com slash garbage. Helix with Helix, better sleep starts now. Do it. Do it. Okay, let's talk about Adam and Eve. Let's talk about Naughty. Let me undo my belt real quick. (laughs) Hachi machi. Let's talk about Naughty Naughty time. Uh Whether you're with somebody or alone, Adam and Eve has got you covered. Let me tell you something. You go out, you take some bird out on a date. You got dinner, you got this, you got that. Just get a fucking huge dildo and go home and have a good time. <laughs> That's with what I'm yourself. talking about. I said it once, I'll say it again. If you're looking to put your little pecker in something, hit up an Adam and Eve. Or if you're what a guy or a girl who wants to put something in you, they also got that too. Yeah, it's good uh, stuff. Baby, it's all packaged and discreet. It doesn't come from www.bonerville or anything like that. Yeah. Your neighbors aren't going to know you're a freak. <laughs> Only you and your partner or just you <laughs> and the dog. Whatever you guys do. <laughs> the uh, cat might not talk to you the rest of the week, but I'm, still. I'm telling you guys, uh, they have an amazing offer. The good folks of Adam and Eve have been support- supporting podcasts for a long time. Yes, they They're have. supporting us. We love them, baby. So get something. Have a little fun. Spice things up. What yeah, are you doing? You're sitting in your house. It's about to be wintertime. You're going to be, it gets dark early. Shove something in your I'm butt. I'm sitting on one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I got two tree things Put up there. Put something over your ass. Call a friend. <laughs> Go to adamandeve.com. Select any one item and use code. Garbage. This is an exclusive <laughs> offer, so be sure to tell them Kippy sent you <laughs> by using code Garbage to get fifty percent off and free shipping. Go to AdamandEve.com right now. Do it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, anyway, so he, but they he had to get the the he had the, he had the dumbest son. The dumbest son was left. Like he was like a cokehead. Sure. And uh, the easiest ones to get to. Yeah, yeah. And anyway, the guy like. How did, did your dad meet this guy? I don't know. Did uh did a bunch of blow and like ruined the the business. The guy did, or your yeah, dad? The guy did, okay. and my dad went bankrupt. Oh, and no. then um. Wait. So he partnered with him. He got the money. They opened the store, and it went down. It went under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he op- he opened it in Montreal? Yeah, it was like oh. a bigger city, but it was close. Like Ottawa was like was like too small at the time. Okay. And um. And, uh, yeah, my mom uh, rose through the ranks of the Canadian post office. My dad ended up rebounding and, like, becoming a computer consultant. He was, like, a computer nerd pimp. Gotcha. You'd come to him, and he'd be like, I got the right nerd for you. And yeah, then, oh, I got yeah. you. Yeah. That's pretty being, smart. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. And my mom rose through the ranks of the Canadian post office until she was uh, one step below vice president. By the t- That's but that pretty happened, good. That happened when I was, like, 19. 18, 19. Yeah. And we were like, you know, so growing up, we like moved. Was that a big influx of cash when she got that job? That's like a- For sure. Same thing. For my sure. parent, my mom started doing a really good at her job yeah. when I was like 19 or 20. She, yeah. she was, she was an office manager of a, of an office. And then that people that she worked for bought the building and she became like the C. Oh yeah. CFO of the building was doing real well. Nice. Didn't fucking help me any. Yeah. I was like, I was like out. You yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they well, they started doing better, and then they uh, I was doing really bad at school, and then they sent me to boot camp for the last two years of high school. 
That's a first. Well, they thought I had obsessive. No, or they thought I had. I was on drugs, but I I had obs- a weirdo. I just had obsessive compulsive disorder. Mm-hmm. So I was Were like, you on drugs as well? No, no drugs. I did. I mean, I bought weed like maybe twice. Okay. And I uh, I just was touching everything three times. I was four. Okay. Four. Yeah. Yeah. And I I like th- for some reason I, I like three because if you had uh my thing was like if you had an impure thought. If you sat down, you had like a you thought about Michael Jordan or whatever. But if you thought about like a, a murderer you saw on the news, sure. or like a homeless man with scabs that you saw on the way to wherever you were, uh, I was like, oh my, I'm gonna fucking. You know it's crazy, but you're like, that's the crazy thing about OCD. You know, is mm-hmm. like, you know it's crazy, but you can't help. And I was like, oh my face is gonna change mm-hmm. into that homeless guy with a scab on his face. So I gotta sit two more times because that will un that'll outweigh the tainted first one. And so, and if the, on the third time, if I did it wrong, I have to do it nine times. So everything. By three the, times three. Three times three. Oh, nine, mine was 16. Oh, hilarious. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knock my head. I knock my head yeah. three times and then I have to go chew my hair and then knock three more times. And if I mess that up, I have to do the whole thing over again. Wow. Yeah. You still do that? Welcome to Wackoville. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah Three fucking lunatics. The end of the podcast is going, kink, kink. Everybody. <laughs> and I got to shake the camera every yeah. time. <laughs> Your brother's watching this on his couch laughing yeah, at us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they, there was no OCD back then. And it was like, they were like, are you on drugs? And I didn't want to, you know, you're like, whatever I was, 15, 16. I didn't want to be like, well, actually... I have uh, this thing I, that I, I think is going to kill me. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think my face is going to change into a killer I saw on the news. Mm-hmm. So I, it was like way cooler to say, yeah, I'm on I'm on, smoking dr- put. I'm on drugs. Yeah. Wait, it was just drugs. Yeah, just a general <laughs> drug. Writ large drugs. Yeah. I do and, them all, baby. <laughs> and then I got sent to uh, Saskatchewan for two years, Yikes. which is far Where away. It's like it was like a, I had to fly there. So you said you, you told your parents you were on drugs when you weren't. I was not on drugs. I didn't well, want. You said it three times. I'm on drugs. Yeah, I'm, I'm on drugs. drugs I'm on drugs. drugs. So like he's clearly. That's pretty that. wild. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. know that this was going to be drugs. the punishment? Uh, no. Did they ask you what drugs you were doing? No, they just said drugs. One time I was, I lit a match. My parents are crazy. They're great people, but they're crazy. Like we would, that. we would get kicked out of restaurants and stuff. Oh, just for, all right, save that, yeah. save yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Let's fucking get <laughs> yeah. into that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Where are you coming in? You don't think you're gonna? I don't think I'm that garbage. Your dad got in bed with a cokehead and went bankrupt. <laughs> you're getting kicked out of restaurants. You went to boot camp. Yeah, Your brother's do, awesome. You're doing fake drugs and you went to boot camp. <laughs> One time I lit a match in my room just because I don't know. I was a kid. I was like sure. a teenager. And uh, it's like before I got sent, my mom ran in and was like, "Are you sniffing the matches?" Sniffing I was like. Matches. Did they grow up under a rock though? I don't know. What's going on that they're so Yeah, my mom my mom grew up, she's a refugee from Slovakia and so really? they she just doesn't know a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Slovakia there's a big match yeah. sniffing problem. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. I will say that. Yeah. So uh you know, she <laughs> she uh yeah, she 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 just was like not sure. I don't know. I and, gotcha. And then um was the boot camp like a high school too? It was a high school, so, yeah. Was it military? It's that wasn't military. It's technically not a boot camp. It's but it's the cheapest boarding school in North America. So it's gotcha. rough around the edges. Yeah, your your teachers could hit you. Uh, I got caught uh, trying to buy booze from a, a a girl came like came from the that that was the year prior and was like free and came with a car and I was like can you go to the next town to buy us like just a like a we call them a Mickey like a little like whatever 16 ouncer mm-hmm. and then uh she came back with 24 beers I was like what how am I going to hide 24 beers anyway I got caught and um and I had to do guard it, this is a town of 300 in Saskatchewan Jesus. in the winter uh and I had to do the trash collection for the town I had to wake up at 5 in the morning and it was like minus forty. Fuck that. And uh, and then if you and if you didn't make your bed a bunch, you would get demerit points. If you collect enough demerit points at the end of the week, everyone with like too many demerit points would have to go to a room and do burpees uh, until someone puked. Man. And I, and I was just like, click, click, click. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask how the senior talent yeah. show was. <laughs> Did they ever uh-huh. hit you, actually hit you? Uh, no. no. No, they didn't. No. Okay. No. I go up there and kick their ass for you. I yeah, yeah. Like that. At my grand K. 
Good kid. Did I get? Did I get too sad? No. no. Did I make it? No. You guys are just collecting right now. Yeah, just process. Yeah. Process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Figuring it out. Garbage. It's a lot. So yeah. far. So far, it's all yeah. in. It's up. always the people too. Are like, I'm not going to be gar. And you're yeah, like, what you the have fuck? Said that. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Did you go to college? I did. Yeah. Yeah. You graduate? I did. Yeah. Good. You, good student. Would you major in college? In? Yeah, I, I I got into college. I had pretty bad grades. Well, did this the, place turn you around? Uh, yeah. I mean, he but had OCD. Kind of. He wasn't fucking boosting cars. Yeah, so yeah. it didn't help you with the OCD, obviously. Well, here's the thing. I think it did. Okay. But inadvertently, uh, well, because other, I would have to fight other students. You would? You were fighting up there? Well, because they're like, they're like mean to you if you show weakness or whatever. And I'm clicking and clacking, and every time someone hits you in the face and you got to fight, I'd like... Hit me two more times, and we're really going to yeah, get into yeah. it. <laughs> I'm going to get hard, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> First, I'll get hard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, they they uh, yeah. So it's like you you know I, it's just very awkward. You're trying to fit in. You got you, you you're in a room with um with uh, four other guys. There's five people to a room. Oh, geez. and uh, it's like hell in a cell. The room is like this size, you know, and uh, so you're like it's just hard. So yeah. I I basically figured if I could dig myself out, like my, if my brain could dig myself into a hole, I could dig myself. Out of a hole. I just had to do it piecemeal. Like I remember it getting sure. worse and worse and worse. I, I, I was like, I can make it better and I better. I can and incrementally yeah. go up. And it's also yeah. like when you're, <clears throat> I think it's, you know, for me, it was like very easy to do when I was living at home and in control of a lot of things. When, you, yeah. you know, it's like, but when I moved away to college, I like had to break because I'm like, I'm living with four other people in a yeah. house where like, I don't, I can't control everything. And then like, yeah, yeah. start going like, all right, maybe I just won't do it on this. Like, yeah. oh, I didn't do it that time this way or whatever. And then like, yeah, 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 it's like incremental for sure. I also think that, you know, <laughs> by the time I was out of that high school, um, I was 19. Back then in Canada, where I was from. A little overdone. You do, uh, yeah. you did five years. For, in high school? For, I'm from Serving on, a nickel. I'm from Ontario, and for like 25, 30 years, uh, it was five years of high school, and but I I got sent to Saskatchewan, so I was like a year older than everybody at the end, mm -hmm. where they had like normal God, four I years. What you're saying. I and what you're so saying. anyway, I my point is is I think that right because you were in college at that time, yeah. I was in high school, but we were both this like yeah, 19, nineteen when yeah. we started to descend. Sure. It's like our hormones were calming down. A bit, you know what I mean? Ooh. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Huh. And also, we don't want to get made fun of. And yeah, it's you, like you, you know, know you're like, trying to fucking you're yeah. trying to nail abroad. You can't be yeah. like fucking squeeze my ween three yeah, four yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, you went five. Do it sixteen now. <laughs> what was the? I can't uh, make it to sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> I can never make it. <laughs> what was the jack and off? Too, for being honest. Yeah. <laughs> what was the jack and off situation in a room with four with, with, with four other people? And called it a beat picture. sheet. You always you the old boys means you've been there at least a year prior. Uh, a you get you boys. get the bottom bunk. And the bottom bunk was key, so you could hang a sheet from the top bunk. It was called a beat sheet. They knew what you were doing in there. Well, yeah. You have to. Yeah. We yeah. called it the beat sheet. If you put up the beat sheet, you know what's going on down down there. Put your headphones on and go to sleep. And then there was the smallest or newest or kid would uh, got like a bed coming out of the middle of one of the bunk beds. He was the fifth kid, and it had drawers underneath it, and that was the penis bed because it looked like a little dick coming out of the two mm -hmm. bunks. And then you could not jack off up the, on the penis bed. How was the food at that place? Uh, Michelin star. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not great. It was yeah. like, you know, I, I don't know. It was like cafeteria food. Okay. Yeah. But it was like we ate a lot. I ate a lot. I didn't know what to do, so I just worked out every day. I gained 50 pounds in two years. There you go. And I got into a better university because I played uh, football, Canadian football, which is the same. Just awesome. three downs. And, uh, and then, I, then by the time I got in, I was like, I was lucky because then I was like, my brain was a little more normal and I could, you know, get decent grades. Did you play football all four years at school? No, I tore my hip. Okay. Flexor. Uh, Ooh, and I'm actually hurt. getting, and it's been a problem ever since, and I'm getting surgery November 10th. The, Check that year. out, folks. Let's Check it out on Instagram. <laughs> surgery September getting, 10th. You'll be live streaming that? <laughs> yeah. I'm getting uh, open penis surgery. <laughs> <laughs> November 10th. Huh. Okay. Uh, um hmm uh yeah so yeah that's funny. okay yeah the house that you grew up in single family home like you guys had your own yeah yeah we grew up they bought a place downtown back when like no one was buying stuff downtown mm -hmm. in like the early 80s and uh but it was great it was a great place to grow up we had like a block with like a bunch of kids my age we had block parties nice 
we would like, you know, we we hated the other street block over. Sure. It was like very diverse. Like there was like You guys do pools up there? Not at downtown. There's not enough room. But we have like city pools we'd go to. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Garage? We had a garage. We shared a driveway, but we had we both had separate I always garages. Liked, I always wanted that. I felt it was like building friends a little bit. It was You're nice. Like, hey, what are you doing in the courtyard? Yeah. yeah. Thing. Matt Hoy lived uh, next yeah, door. See? Shout Matt out Hoy. to Matty. We'd always, our dads, my dad would always send me out first to shovel in the winter, and then Matt, then Matt Hoy's dad would be like, yeah, I had Graham's out there. And yeah, Graham's out. out there. You get out there. And we get out there and yeah. shovel. Yeah, that fun. had to be brutal. What are we talking in yeah, 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 yeah. It was brutal. We're Canadian, like Ottawa winter specifically is like, Ottawa is a very weird place. I th- I would like to see some sort of graph. I think it's like the, like the craziest. It's like 90 degrees in the summer uh, and then minus 30 in the winter. It's just like <laughs> boom, boom. And then it's just, there's so much snow. How many feet are we talking? Like one good snowfall, you got to go out there and shovel. I like you, you, get, and Matt. You, get, you get a foot, you get a foot and, and you hope it's fluffy. Yeah, You're different types of snow. Yeah, the things with that like up there yeah. and like the mission. It's like it snows. It's like a foot, and then like ten days later, it's like a foot, and then yeah. and it's like it just compounds. Yeah, you can't you can't. Escape and a driveway that. is long. Uh, like it, it went the <sighs> full. It wasn't like in the front. It was like a driveway that went like the whole length of the houses and then split off at the end. Oh man, that's yeah. brutal. What kind of cars are we talking about? Was the family car growing up? Would you whip up? around then? We grew up. We went. We started. My think my parents. We had two sobs that when I was born, and they had uh, they were rust bubbles, and uh, what's a rust bubble? Like the Just... bubbling rust, <laughs> and then I would always poke them, uh, and my yeah. my mom would be like, "Don't stop poking the car, stop poking and our rust bubbles." Did they bubbles. buy them new? Um, I'm I think so, but they were old. I, my pa- my they had like I think they had like more money, and then then I then we were born, and they had no money. Because this is probably what this is late eighties, early nineties. This is we're talking early eighties and like mid eighties, and then they ran out of money, and then we went we went from two. Because we the sobs were nice back then. They were nice. They're nice. They were, nice. Like, they were nice. sharp. Yeah. yeah. Good cars. We had, I don't know anybody that drives one now. No. Well, they they stopped making it, but they, they we, we did they we two. We had a yellow one and a blue one. And then um, the yellow, the yellow, the yellow car. Nice. It was beautiful. What the Who has fuck? Had a bunch of car? bunch of rust bubbles, and our, our dog Bruno ate the radio. So there's a bunch of wires down there. Oh my god! But anyway, yeah, you're not garbage at all. Yeah, what are you, <laughs> the dog ate your radio. <laughs> <laughs> I was you, like, you also had more responses than I've never heard in my life. Is that what you told your instructor at boot camp? And my dog ate my radio. <laughs> but then we had we had um, then we had a we went from that to a Mercury Sable station wagon. And they bought a used Honda Civic, and yeah, then very the, very eighties nineties cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Mercury Sable station wagon was a lemon, and I remember on a family uh, that was kind of the rounded tri- one a little bit, right? It was before that. Okay, but it was it was the Ford Tor- It was the fancy Ford Taurus. I think it had like I was a Ford Taurus kid, growing like electric chair, like windows gotcha. and chairs. And it had a, a just a slightly different uh, grill. It was like the grill illuminated. It didn't have metal slats. Sure, it a, but saying. it was the same car. And it had a the rumble seat in the back. What's a rumble seat? It's a, the backward facing seat yeah, in okay. the very back. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you this about your, the your sobs? Your children will die if they get rear-ended. Yeah, sure. Can I ask you this about the sobs? Were yeah. they two door or four door? One was two door, one was four door. Okay. Two door cars as a family car are weird Wild. though. Every time, yeah. my we had. One. Are you trying to get laid? <laughs> no, but it's just like <laughs> being like a nine year old. Your yeah. dad's like, "All right, oh, can, back you, here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can you get in or whatever? Yeah. You gotta like climb past." <laughs> the guys. Yeah, yeah. I hated it. Put your I, hand on his shoulder. It's yeah. fucking weird. It, like, it goes like this. It's yeah, like a yeah, triangle yeah. at and the as bottom. As a fat kid, that wasn't easy. No. no. I sat in one as an adult, and I'm like, I'm never fucking doing this again. Yeah, yeah. You, you feel back? like you're in Sputnik. No way. Yeah, bro. I was still a little bit thinner, but it was still scary. Sp- yeah, you're like, it's Sputnik. <laughs> yeah, That's hilarious. Like- <laughs> <laughs> fucking just looking up Sputnik straight. has rust bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is Stop bad. Stop popping them. Goddamn dog ate <laughs> the Yellow radio. Sputnik. <laughs> Yellow two-door Sputnik. And what about that, that that car, the Mercury Sable, blew up on a family trip. But my dad, where I, was the trip? We were going to Quebec City. We were packed to the gills packed with, the and gills. then uh, the piston shot I through mean, the his sh- kid shot through his trash. He stinks. <laughs> he's bonkos. He's got it all. <laughs> Why did you think I, don't know I just remember it, it, it. The 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 front the the front hood went. And a bunch of smoke came out, and my dad went, Jesus Christ! What are you in a cartoon? <laughs> yeah, was hold on, was he driving? <laughs> yeah, we we're going fast. Engine exploded. <laughs> I would have like, got the magazine. Yeah. <laughs> Get up at that freeze pipe, baby. Rip, B. 
bingers. Yeah, but like pulling tubes, gang. Sure, we all do. <laughs> but doesn't it suck when you start hacking up a lung because the smoke is so hot? You look like a bummer gummer in front of all the kids. All of a sudden, they start thinking you're a cop. They get you jammed up. Next thing you know, you got a gun to the back of your head, and you're tied up in the trunk. <laughs> but with freeze pipe, it cools the smoke down. <laughs> with freeze pipe, it'll save your life. It could save your <laughs> life. Not That's not patent pending or nothing. I'm just saying it could. Cools the smoke down. It's really cool, man. They have a unique design. You throw it in the freezer. Oh, does it, Johnny? Pitch man all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, pipes, bubblers, bongs, dab rigs, more, whatever you're smoking, these boys got it, all right? <laughs> so if you're coming, fucking come correct with a freeze pipe. I hear the bubbler's stupendous. Yeah. I put a little uh, tobacco in there, obviously. <laughs> So head over to freezepipe.com and enjoy the new favorite piece at everyday great prices. You co- use code GARBAGE for 10% off your next order. That's the T-H-E, freezepipe.com. Use code GARBAGE, 10%. Shop today. Your throat and lungs will thank you. Now back to the show. <sighs> uh, but, okay. my, they, but they always say, with my parents, we're glad we bought the extended warranty. Oh, man, Almost yeah. didn't. Canadians are yeah. big warranty people. Yeah, I really feel. love the warranty. A lot of insurance, love free health care. Ex- love a good extended yeah. warranty. Now, yeah. you go to Quebec City on a family vacation. This is the summer, I assume. Oh, yeah. What, what do you do down yeah. there? It was pouring rain, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fire on the yeah, car, yeah. at least. <laughs> <laughs> Saved our lives. Saved our goddamn lives. <laughs> Uh, what do you do there? You you walk around and you. Well, it's you, like a city. It's a city. There's no like beach or there's no like. There, it's there's like no... a European city. Okay. It was founded in like 1500 or okay, something okay. like that. Right, so it's like a yeah. It's gotcha. got old buildings. It looks like Cobble Europe down cobblestone, so, yeah, and yeah, they yeah. speak. It, most of Quebec speaks like very dirty French. Like it's like Alabama oui, oui. to London. You know gotcha. what I mean? And but Quebec City has like the more refined. Gotcha, gotcha. Like they're they're very little snooty. They find out you're from English Canada. They're like they won't even they don't speak any English, even though they probably know a few words. And they're I know you go walk around and look at stuff and um, you stay in a hotel, soak in the culture. Oh, th- I, this is a connection. What happened was is I go they're like you're gonna go back for a second year to boot camp, and we're walking around the cobblestones of Quebec City. And I'm like I'm not going back. I'm a, I'll go live with Aiden and I'll work at a grocery store or I'll, I'll figure it out. You know, I'm not going to go back. Mm-hmm. I'm going to move out. And uh, and then they just kept working me, working me, working me. And I knew I didn't want to like sleep on Aiden's couch. And Who's Aiden? Aiden? He's just a guy who was 19 and living with his older brother and they okay. were smoking a bunch of weed. Sure. And I was like, I knew it was a bad, bad vibe, bad vibe for me. Um, and then uh, anyway, so they were like, you know, there's like, I always wanted a tricolor Montreal Expos hat fitted. And uh, there was one in the store, Quebec City, Montreal, same province, you know. And I was like, all right, if you buy me that hat, I'll go back. And uh, a cheap date. I should have gotten, I should have bargained for more. Yeah. Sob got the whole, yes, got yeah. The, got the whole uniform at yeah. least. Yeah. Well, I knew, uh, <laughs> I knew they wouldn't give me anything more. <laughs> Where would you stay when you go to the Quebec? Are you staying in a hotel? Yeah, I stay in a hotel. One room, the whole family? Uh two beds. Yeah, I think we would do we would do like a, a hotel or a motel with two rooms. Adjoining? Yeah. One time we watched always it was fun. a rainy day People and we watched Braveheart and during the sex scene, because we were in one room, my my dad made me put up wait. a beach sheet. No, he made me maybe go <laughs> 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 Do what you gotta do. You do your sin behind there and when you're finished, you come back out and do you finish your the film. Sin behind yeah. there. Uh no, he made me go to the bathroom. And like, wait till the sex scene was over because it was. What sex scenes in Braveheart? There's like nothing. I I don't know. I, there might be some side. He's boobs. never seen it. He doesn't yeah. know. I don't know. <laughs> he was in a bitch. All I know, I was half hard staring at myself in the mirror. <laughs> Mel Gibson really giving it to her. Come on, Pop, tell me. <laughs> tell me, Pop, please. I'm halfway there. For God's sakes. Oh man, <laughs> you stink. Did you ever come to this? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you think? <laughs> I don't think you're not. Crazy. crazy. I don't know. I listened to that Tonta Cars episode, uh, and everyone's yeah, I, I dead. Mean, you got you know, to you know. grade on a curve, yeah. but I mean, you're not too shabby yourself. Did you ever come down to the States for a vacation or anything like that? Yeah, we go to Vermont. <laughs> And I'd be, I remember one time crying because I was, we Which were going to feel is just Canada. No? Yeah. <laughs> That's like, what the fuck? <laughs> we would go for, uh, That's like the most Canadian of the States. <laughs> we go to Vermont, we'll go to Maine. Let's see how we the go other to side s- lives. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mexico to you. One time we went to, uh, <laughs> Smuggler's Notch in New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> You're like out of a book. <laughs> I was scared. Well, it's at 40 <laughs> degrees. It's roasting down here. <laughs> 
My, I was so scared I was going to get shot. It's a rough- shot? <laughs> what you put that smuggler's I remember <laughs> my parents said when we crossed, the, I was like, there's guns in America. <laughs> there's gangs everywhere and in Vermont. Americans love their guns. They're all maniacs. <laughs> and I was scared that I was going to get shot on the streets of Stowe <laughs> or Smuggler's <laughs> Notch, <laughs> Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, dude. All right. Yeah, we... get... <laughs> Throw the window up, Ma. You're gonna get this all clipped. <laughs> I remember. I I loved it. I could get. I was allowed to have uh, soda. I could get an orangina, and uh, they gave me fifty bucks. I could buy, and I bought. I could buy Lego. <laughs> It was sick. How old were you, dude? He's <laughs> 22. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this kid, dude. dude, for a hat, an orange Gina, and Legos, yeah. you can get this kid to do anything. But oh, in his they, defense, I, I, we, I, we, we didn't have a like where they wouldn't give us anything. In his defense, those things are all pretty awesome. An orange yeah. Gina is fantastic. Fifty bucks would go far on a Lego. Castle Lego. Woo! We're talking like. Did you not have Legos? 1992 Castle Lego. Mm-hmm. Did you 93? not have Legos in Canada? <laughs> Yeah, we had Legos. But then you weren't allowed to get them. Well, it wasn't a family trip. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't special. Yeah, it's weird they to play with Legos in. on a family yeah. trip. Were well, you not allowed <laughs> yeah, to have... You're at the border. You have anything to declare? I got my Legos. I got my Legos. <laughs> All right, you, you, make sh- you make sure this weird kid doesn't talk anymore. Um, were you not allowed to drink soda growing up? Uh, no, we would do... Uh, on the weekend, My uh, we were allowed, but my I'd be like, Mom... You, we might get Coca Cola or Pepsi, please, and then she'd come back every time with diet caffeine free. You know the gold, the gold one, one yeah. and I'd be like, "You," and she like, she go, "Oh, I made a mistake again." I'd be like, "Mom, just so you know, it's we, you want the red one." Yeah, and then yeah. same time, same thing. Oh, I made a mistake again. I was so stupid. It would last like two years. And a pinch though, that was all right. The caffeine it. free yeah, diet. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'd get your head on. I straight. felt like it was a health drink compared to the regular soda. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking. I was. I felt like a power lifter. Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> like, what is it? Diet caffeine free. I don't know. Just, po- just, just brown water. Jackson, Mississippi water. Oh God. Would you pack your funny. lunch to school? Uh, yeah. Funny thing about that. <laughs> <laughs> One time, my mom, she just you know when a potato just grows a bunch of stuff out of it, an old potato. The eyes. Your ears. Yeah. Ears. I, it grows ears, oh, and yeah. starts... you're not supposed to eat those. Right. Well, one day she just. Put that in my container and nothing else, just as a joke. And I opened that up at joke. lunchtime in front of everybody. They had like their sandwiches, uh, and I had one potato with a bunch of stuff coming out of it. And then what? No, the, there's the joke is you, but then you also don't have a lunch. I got a. I was like sad, mm-hmm. and then I got a call from the principal's office, and uh, my mom bought me McDonald's. Ah, oh. ah, there you go. Yeah, she got my ass. Took the burger patty out and gave you a diet coke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were All the pets right. like growing up? We got uh we had uh, Bruno who ate the radio. Mm-hmm. We used to try and ride him like a horse. Sure. And we had a we kept him on a leash in the back, and then uh, he Wait, used to bark at in us in the winter too. Um, not as not for very long, but okay. uh, he'd go out there and. Uh, Do you have a dog house? No, but we uh you know dogs uh we you know in Canada we they don't no dogs wear coats. We just walk them around. They're dogs. The '90s was different too. Yeah, the '90s with dogs. There's but a minus yeah. forty. He's out there. Absolutely, he's got a, He loves it. He jump in the snow, and they, you know, they get they they get extra, you know, hair. What kind of dog was it? Irish Setter. <laughs> and then, uh, if you were like Chihuahua, <laughs> Chihuahua, he <laughs> sat there frozen. He jump in the snow. <laughs> Couldn't find him. He died. They, get him in the, the spring. Fall. Yeah. You go. You go down to the. Uh. the <laughs> The Ken will get a new one or whatever. Anyway, so he uh, we uh, we used to go and uh, and he'd bark and we, we, my friends would well, let's go ye- you know yell at him and he'd bark and I'd be like yeah let's go yell. I'm like wait a second it's my dog. Yeah, he's yelling. At and your um dog. and then we didn't have anything once he oh yeah he died on a I was walking with my dad and he had a heart attack and died. He probably froze to death. And uh, no, this is in the summer. I think it was just too hot. Well, you just watch your dog just fall out and die. Yeah, and my dad was like, uh, I remember that's like what happens in the twenties. We were walking around the the and and my he starts he collapsed and he's just like, <sighs> and, and my dad's like, oh no. And then uh, an, another dad was like walking and he was like, uh oh. And my 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 dad goes, run home and uh, tell your mom there's a problem with Bruno. And uh, and I ran home and then I never saw him again. And then uh, your dad or the dog? Uh, my dad. He was. Uh, he yeah. He married. Uh, he married that man. <laughs> there are two Bruno gay guys. Was fine. Yeah, it was yeah. legal way yeah, before yeah. it was here. Yeah, yeah. And 
Anyway, so then we didn't have any pets. Oh, and, yeah, and it was a tough year, but my grandpa died, and and I was like, oh Jesus, everyone's dying. Same anyway, thing. Same. Well, kind of was the same thing. He anyway. Um, he had a heart attack. Yeah, he, he, ate he was radio. walking around. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he had a radio. He had, a, he had a, a teen's transistor radio for playing rock music. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he, uh, so we didn't have any cat. We didn't have anything until we found a cat uh, in the woods. A uh, deaf white cat, and um, and uh, yeah, and we had a, a deaf, deaf white cat because he just wouldn't. You, know, you need to figure it out after a while. Yeah. Oh, because here's the thing. So, my he's doing sign language. My, he's, fr- yeah. he's probably just trying to ignore you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <a fucking> weirdo. <laughs> this <laughs> maniac's clicking away. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna feed me. Oh god. Um, yeah, but anyway, so he just would. Uh, I remember he would just. He'd sleep in the middle of the road because it was hot. And then I'd look out my, my bedroom window. He was like an outdoor cat, which he should not have been. Sure. And we'd, I'd watch cars pull up and like honk and he wouldn't move. <laughs> and I'd be like, come on, George. George. <laughs> George, please. There's a car. And then the guy would get out and like stomp on the ground. George would be like, what the fuck? And run away. And then. He's uh, crazy. Yeah. He's crazy. He's a crazy person. <laughs> What, George? <laughs> yeah, George, you, your dad, yeah. the whole fuck, every person yeah. you've named. Man, yeah. shout out to the K's. They're all right. Yeah. Yeah. K Hudax. My mother would not change your name because I quote, no man owns me. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. K Hudak. Yeah. What well, was your... she, no, no hyphenated names. She agrees that, that those are stupid. Yeah. So if you have a hyphenated name. Wait, what was your dad's last name? Or what's your dad's last name? K. K. Yeah. But your mom would use K Hudak. It wouldn't be Hudak. Hud- She's oh. just who that. She kept her name. Nothing. Nothing changes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's not. She's not a slave. That's what my mother would say. I'm no man owns me. Yeah. She's a. She's a very uh, intense person. When I was a kid, I was playing on the street, and she just ran out on the street. She's like, "Graham, come here." I was like, "What? I'm playing with tennis balls." She come here, and uh, I go, "What?" She goes, uh, "I was like maybe 10, 11. She goes, "Graham," she knelt beside me and goes, "I don't ever want to catch you in a mosque." A synagogue or a goddamn church before you're 18, because I don't want those racist, sexist, homophobic bastards brainwashing you. And I was like, "All right, try a cup of decaf." Lady. Yeah, Jesus. Christ. She would always. She, I don't. She must have seen something. And on by the, news. the way, the cat got ran over. Yeah, <laughs> it, he did. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Sleeping in the middle yeah. of the street. Yeah, I think it was a skydiving. We'd be like, headphones on. <laughs> we'd be like watching TV, and then some lady would like this local six o'clock news, and some lady would come on and be like. Her daughter died or whatever, and then she'd be like, you know, the only thing keeping me together is knowing that one day I'll see her again in heaven. And I just hear my mom behind me go, fucking lunatic. <laughs> I'd be like, you chill out. <laughs> She's hard nose. Yeah. yeah. Fucking she, lunatic. Is she oh. still working for the post office or no, she retired? She, she retired. So she's Pension. retired. Yeah. Pension. Probably pretty Vice good president. Too. Yeah. Well, one step below vice president, which there are uh, many of those people. Sure. But still, but, top yeah. brass still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Wore a suit, had an office, oh, had a secretary. Pretty good. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Hmm. Anybody, any, any of the of the family ever spot a UFO up there? And they ever claim <laughs> to have seen a UFO? I feel like it'd be right up your alley. Uh, no, I never saw a UFO. No, never even seen the Northern Lights. Very really? Sad. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I'm not even sure what they are. If I'm being it's the Aurora I mean, Borealis. Yeah. Is what Maybe we is. have seen them. Yeah. We just don't know it. Do your parents still live in the same house? Uh, no, they 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 moved, and then uh, yuppies bought it. And I was always like, maybe I'll one day I'll be a famous comedian. I'll knock and be like, let me show you. I used to live here. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And they uh, they gutted it. They they you're by city lock. It's an old house, so you have to keep the, the, the wall. three. Three out outer walls. Okay. And then they just tore everything down in the middle and completely, oh, so completely different their, house. Yeah, yeah completely different the facade. Yeah. What was the name of that street? Melgand Avenue. Melgand Avenue. Yeah. That's Canadian. pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. How about the name of the grocery store where your mom shopped? IGA. Yeah. And IGA is in bed. It's all right. Go to the IGA. I don't go there. The IGA. Hmm. Okay. Did you ever have a chia pet growing up? Yeah, well, there was an unused Chia Pet on the top of the kitchen cabinet. I always thought it was cool. Why was unused? it in a box or was it just uh, out of the box? I well, think my mom thought it was cool to like, like, like a uh, little, I don't know, a trinket statue. Yeah, yeah a pottery type thing. Pottery. But never grew it, the Chia. Never was it, put the, the, was it the sheep or whatever? Was it the guy? Was it was it, or the traditional? Is that Chia seeds, by the way? Is that what it is? Good question. Ooh, probably. Wow, that's wild. 
Talk about ahead of their time. I think it's a little, yeah, it's a little too far advanced. No. I think it's the right amount of garbage to have a, a Chia and pet not and not know what sure. it is. Sure. There you go. Yeah. I'll give you that. Uh, I, I think, uh, anyway, yeah, I don't know. It was like a little horse thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what was the name of your pizza place in your town? Oh. Don't you guys eat Boston pizza? Isn't that a big thing? Up no, there? We have our own kind of pizza, and they don't even know they have their own kind of pizza. They just made American pizza bad. And okay. it became their own pizza. Gotcha. Um, Lay it on us. What is it? It's just very doughy pizza with a lot of sauce and then all of the toppings on top of the sauce, like the vegetables and the, the, the meat or whatever, and then the thick layer of cheese on top. And so everything is just wet and boiled underneath it. Hmm. Like no, no crispy pepperonis. None of that sounds appetizing. Yeah. I don't know. I give it, it a Gino? whirl. What pizza was? Albert's Pizza or something, that and it came with awesome. came with a bun in the middle, uh, which I liked. A we bun. always, yeah, to, so the pizza box wouldn't crush it. You, you know, they have, have the little, you know the little tables. You yeah. didn't have that. Well, it was it was a little. It was like their own. Their, their signature was like a little pe- little roll in the middle. Oh, that's, that's pretty. All right. sweet. I actually, I think that's good. I can get behind. That's that. real. Yeah. And we would fight cool. for the roll in the middle, even would. though it's just plain bread. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I can totally yeah. see that. We used to fight when we were kids for. If you had the, the pizza, no, there was always uh, there was always one big bubble, like a like a rust blister, like you had on the uh-huh. sob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was yes. always one of those. Yeah. You always wanted to slice that at that. Yeah, and yeah. And you'd rip that open. That's fun. Yeah. It's crispy. That's all right. Though. I like that. Hmm. Chinese? What was a Chinese spot up there? Did you do Chinese? Yeah, the the ho. Oh man, I it's been so long since I lived in Ottawa. It's like it bothers me. I can't remember the pizza place, and I think it's, it was like. The ho ha my my, it was like the first one. I remember my dad. We would go there because my dad went there because it was the first Chinese place in like 1971 or 68 or something. That's and awesome. they were like, "What the hell's <laughs> going on here? Something that isn't boiled ham? Yeah. <laughs> Dear Lord, there's no bun in the middle." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was just like a generic like ho ho or something. Sure. You know, one of those. Yeah, hmm. it closed down. What was the last time you were on a boat, and where was it? I got fired from a cruise ship, like uh, I, uh, like like um like uh, two months ago. What? Well, whoa! Yeah. You want to talk about that? Sure. I got I uh yeah I got, I got I've been fired. I've done three cruise ships in the past six months, and I got fired from two of them. What happened? Hey, you're you're pretty clean. Yeah, super you know, clean, super just, funny. Yeah, I, but I, here's the thing: is like I will I refuse. In my head, I'm like, I don't want to become a boat act. Sure. So, so you're I, just doing your act I on will, the boat. My, yes. I have told myself when I started doing it, well, when I started doing it, like I really needed the money. So I was just doing, you know, old think, hits, yeah. you know what I mean? And like trying to survive or whatever. And, and then I was like, I felt like maybe I'm being an idiot, but I was like, I'm just going to do my act. And, I'm, and if, they, if they tell me not to swear, I won't swear. Sure, if they tell me fine. not to do this, I mean, it's a contract. I but get it. But you're straight up the middle funny. It's all... Thank you. But they... So I have a joke about... Uh, I touch on... My, I mentioned my brother that ha- has autism. I'm not making fun of him. I love him very much. It's making fun of me. And I have another joke about how my grandfather, my mother's father, and my mother's mother hid Jewish people in World War II in Prague, Czechoslovakia. And they, I got fired because too many people complained that I talked about Nazis. I mentioned Nazis and complained that I was talking about autism and like, I like my grand, my grandson has autism and he shouldn't be making fun of him. these boats? And, um, and so it's just, you really have, you can't be, you know, it's like, I do I, I I do okay on cruise ships that have I don't you know I I only do like a, a few a year just to you know take the edge off sure you know um but you you know it's it's a fine balance you don't want to become you can get stuck on them if you start playing to them that's you, yeah, of you're, course you're like you're, you that's the right mentality of like hey yeah this is a fucking good paycheck I can go do my fucking do my act yeah. there and fucking do it you know and get out is that's the right, right mentality people. Get addicted to the paycheck, and they're like, they get addicted to the paycheck, and then you become you become a boat act. Like they'll tell me, like I, you, it's always me, and also you never can have a sustainable relationship because you're you're on these boats. You're you're fourteen days at a time. You're at sea. (laughs) (laughs) They would like there's all I was. It's you're usually paired with another comic. It was always me and a fifty eight year old man going through a divorce. 
everyone I've met, every, Exclusively. every, you know, yeah. not to throw the name, but boat at, you know, people yeah. that do cruise I know ships. where I'm going to end up. Yeah. <laughs> for I, really, I like a couple it. of years. I mean, they're making like a hundred and like six <laughs> figures a year. Yeah. They own a condo in Florida. Like, it's always in Florida. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, I haven't been there in six months. Yeah, the yeah. homeowners associations <laughs> sending me letters because yeah, yeah. the windows are smashed yeah, and the mail's yeah. overflowing. <laughs> it's always shit like that. It's always, um, yeah. It's, and the, the one time this guy, he called them, a, he's like, I have a land gig coming up. Yes. And I was like, that's a gig. It's not a, like, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're a sea gig. Well, you're, you're doing water gigs. You're doing water gigs. A land gig is yeah. just a gig. Just a gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that, right, I think on the first or second cruise, I heard that. I was like, oh, boy. Oh, oh Grandma, you got to <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch yourself out here. <laughs> <laughs> and these high seas, yeah. maybe. <laughs> But like there are some funny comics doing it, sure, and no, no, uh, they're all like nice people. And if and it's like I get it, you like reach a level in comedy. You've been you're like forty whatever, fifty whatever. You're like I can't live hand to mouth anymore. It's that. And I also think the 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 art form of yeah. it. At some age, you stop progressing. The, when you get into your fifties, yeah, you're not like. Unless you're like in the club, unless you- you're Eddie Pepitone, exactly. You're Who's like sh- a shout out to Eddie Pepitone? Love Eddie P. Yeah, you stop progressing, so it's like, hey, I'm doing my act that I was doing for the past twenty years. Yeah. These are the people that enjoy those. Ju- like that's where those people are. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Like you're not gonna yeah fend well at the cellar or the comedy store. Or something. Right. Where were you? Maybe you got- my people will be when I'm there when when they're of cruise age. But it, you know, yeah, maybe, yeah, of course. You know, where were you when you got fired? Like physically. You uh, make you walk the plank or something? Uh, I was in my uh, my room, the room they state gave me room. on the boat, my state room. They're not good, right? I hear, I hear they put them in the worst. Place. I'm, I've, I've only done good, good cruise one. lines okay. that give you like a good room that they would give the customers. When I get ones with a window, pretty sick. Nice. Uh, like the food's really good. The room's nice. It's like a. I would you're love in to a, do one. Yeah, it's like if you can get one with a comedy club on it, it's all right. You know. Um, you know, it's all, you have to have like a lot of time, like so. So they come down and they say, "Hey, Graham, you're out." Well, I I was supposed to do, uh, I was supposed to do. It was New Jersey to uh, the Bahamas. I was gonna say, what the fuck? It leaves New Jersey and goes straight to the Bahamas. Okay, and not the Bahamas, the other one, Bermuda, Bermuda, the one that's closer. And then you go, then they spend three days there, and then they go straight back. It's a week long. And um, and then I was supposed to do two of those. And on the way back to New Jersey, I had already finished all my shows. Mm-hmm. And I was the and they, second leg. They were like he, the 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 cruise director was like, hey, you know, do you want to like help me out with this like st- you know stupid game show? Obviously no, but you say yes. Sure. And um, you know, want some weird game they do on stage or whatever. Um, but I uh. I I, I called him. I was like, hey, you still want me to do the game show? He's like, no, oh, you're fired. And it was the same guy that fired me two ships ago. Same guy. He just didn't Jesus. like me. Yeah. But then he asked you to help, and then, but then he fires you. He forgot about me the second one. It's the second time I've been fired, and I just, kept, I just showed up, and then the guy forgot. <laughs> By the way. Well, why so, did they fire you? Did they have like a reason of like you cursed or you're a little. Oh, I'm sorry. The they right, said, the, the they said too many people the, yeah, yeah, were sorry, complaining sorry. about uh, talking about Correct. World War II and Nazis. Mm-hmm. and. Uh, so you're autism. on your way back to Jersey at this point, so you just got off when you got there? I just there, got off. Uh, yeah, I got off, yeah. Man, yeah. they don't like escort you off the ship or anything like that. You just leave. No, I'm not a pedophile <laughs> yet. <laughs> Scort me off the ship. The Jews. <laughs> Ooh, man. Uh, huh. Wild. Yeah. All right. I mean, I got, I, I, we, I feel I got a couple more. I feel like we got them pretty dead to rights. I'll do yeah, it. The just story like, was wild. We didn't get to that many questions. I it's like good, it. It's a good thing. Though. I know. Have man. you ever owned any Hard Rock T-shirts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like the Hard Rock Cafe T-shirt. Oh, hard, yes. Yeah. When I was a kid, I I try I collected them. Oh, I don't like you. My mom would always buy one whenever she went. Where, but they went on a vacation. They, oh, I got you one. Uh-huh. Where'd you go, mom? Vermont. To, yeah, <laughs> Smugglers <Hard>. Run. <laughs> Notch. Notch. <laughs> we got one. <laughs> Shout out to the Hard Rock in Saskatchewan. Yeah. Huh? Oh, buddy, I, I uh, uh. definitely had Montreal. Yikes. Definitely had Toronto. That's funny. Yeah. Um, when was the first time you had lobster? Do you, was you Twenty like, you know? yeah. something. Mm-hmm. I got. Well, I went to college on the East Coast, and I had lobster. I, I think I had a McDonald's. They had, that doesn't they, count. They had a McDonald's lobster roll. Pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Caffe- it's like the first caffeine time you free had diet it. Pepsi, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to wash this down. <laughs> Will you and your family order the same thing at a restaurant? I get the vibe that you guys might be. Like, if you go to a place... Will you each get like the chicken piccata or something like that? No, we could order our, our different whatever. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. We just see you ordering the same thing. Um, yeah. Have you ever signed up for a f- free trial just for the promotion? Like, you know. Yeah, I definitely. You canceled at the end of the free trial. For sure. But I, and I got caught doing that, the, the CD one in the yeah, in yeah. the 90s or whatever Columbia House and they had, you know everyone's parent, mom had to call Columbia House and yeah. like, fuck off they never did anything yeah, yeah. leave him alone <laughs> he's a good boy yeah. Yeah. he does the drugs but still yeah. I don't know he's why he's got my Jimi Hendrix album <laughs> suckers yeah I cleaned up on that yeah. shout uh, out to fucking Fleetwood Mac do you eat ice do you chew your ice yeah you do, huh? absolutely you peeing in the shower yeah not Bru- all the time you brush your teeth in the shower no what do you sleep in a bed <laughs> Socks? Sleep with socks on? Uh, only in the winter when my toesies are cold. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, what are you doing? What, boxers, t-shirt. I do uh, boxer briefs, and I do. That's it. Nice. Pretty Show hot. off the bod. Yeah, Show off the go. bod. All right. Give the people what they want. Sometimes I wear a tee. You know, last night I wore a tee. There was a cool breeze. It was nice. Yeah. Fall is here. It's mm-hmm. all right. It's upon us. You play any instruments? No, I have a guitar that I got. Uh, so I could. I tried to get like an easy grade in college. And it was by far the hardest course sure, I've ever taken. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I got like a C minus. Mm-hmm. And it's thought? still there. I still have it. I just look at it. I'm like, one day. I thought in the pandemic I'd pick it up. Wow. No. Is it hanging on the wall in your apartment? It was displayed in the living room oh, embarrassingly. And now it's God. like, uh, it's tucked Graham, away. Graham, all you play is <laughs> nah, yeah. my finger. I, uh, <laughs> where's, I just, just left handed. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Um, Sleep hmm. with the TV on? <laughs> no, I have ADD. I'll stay up until it turns off. I'll stay up for 10 days straight if it's on. If it's on, yeah. yeah. What's yeah. the credit score like? Uh, it's been good. It's been good lately. Nice. What yeah. kind of credit cards are we talking? I, I, think we're t- I, mean, I think we're talking 720s. Okay. Good. Solid. Yeah. You have an Amex? I got, a, I got, a, uh, I got an Amex, uh-huh. and I got a Visa, uh, like a black one, Premier. Or okay. Yeah. Not too shabby. That's pretty good. Yeah, but this, this is all recent. Sure, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I, this, is, this is pre-getting fired from the cruise ship, so we'll see. Well. Sure, yeah. It's very yeah. true. Do you know how to tie a tie? Absolutely. I know. I used to sell suits. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Where? So I know Tell how, us about this. At Holt Renfrew. It's like Canada's Macy's. Okay. I used to sell suits at Macy's. No big deal. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I was more of a t-shirt yeah, You were a utility player. player. I was more of a resold shoes. I was a haberdasher. <laughs> 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 I resold shoes. I was a cobbler. <laughs> you were in the suit department. I was in the suit department. I was very bad at the job. And uh, when you leave it... Trying to pick up on a theme here. Yeah, right? I've been fired. This is true. I've been fired 19 times. <laughs> you have yeah but when i left the when you leave that job what you do is you get um uh, a client book because they're all rich people mm-hmm. and you try and you write you go oh, mr thompson you know you know mr thompson's coming in and you look oh he's got two kids a wife and you go well maybe the wife would like this and the kid you know you get in their phone number and everything and it was a book back then and um and I mean, my, it's not like it's in the 20s. So i know it, it might have been yeah I don't it, know. it could be a time traveler that like from like 2005 when I was doing this job till now is just it's the 70s to the 90s it's like crazy different sure no, of course, and, yeah, and yeah. anyway so it was a book back then and uh and I uh I drew I just would like I was like fuck this job and I would draw cocks in it and everything and it was like a big joke with, like because you, you when someone left you would want it you'd people would offer you money for your book and you uh. have to bid to be bidding wars and stuff and everyone just was like you know, it was like a big joke, like how much you're gonna bid on Graham's book, because I had like, like seriously, like two names of like old gay guys who'd yeah. like, oh, make you try the suit. Yeah, they've been like, do I look good in this? You own suits. <laughs> you own a suit, though, right? Yeah, I own like four. Don't you? It's late night and stuff. Yeah, this guy. didn't you? What? Do you? Do you have like a sharp blue suit with the? Yeah, yeah. You I do. Just, you have a real sharp. He looks thanks. good in a suit. I wore it on yeah, he's got a tall. You got a big, good frame on a kid. You own a tux? Thanks, but uh, I do. I bought a... You I own really? a tux. I, I, I was never even going to fucking ask you that question. I found uh, Yves Saint Laurent tux at, at, at a... Uh, Yves Saint Laurent? At a Value Village YSL, baby. YSL. At a, What's that? At a, uh, it's nice. It's a, uh, Value Village is like a... Uh, 
in Canada. It's like a Salvation Army. Okay. And I, it was like five bucks, and I think it's worth like a couple grand. Oh, well, that doesn't count. And then I bought H and M pants to go with it. So uh, yeah, no, you know. no, oh, no. So you have the, you don't have a tux. You have the tux jacket. I have another guy's tux jacket. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I have a dead man's tux jacket. I was just <laughs> gonna yeah. say. I mean, you really led with, yeah, I have a tux. Uh, it's uh, YS. <laughs> man, the more that you talk, the more that got shitty. Yeah, yeah. It's like in a, being in a relationship with me. Oh, man. That's Start funny. hot. Cool off real quick. Yeah, yeah, word yeah, by yeah, word. Yep. Yep. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, what were you thinking? Graham. You're fucking trash, kid. We're sending you to boot camp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two years, baby. Buddy, that was absolutely fantastic. Loved it. You're 100% trash, but we fucking love you. Mm -hmm. You're one of the funniest. Love Gang, you again, he's got a brand new special out, Graham K, live in a bowling alley. Go over to YouTube, Graham K, comedy, and check it out. I'd appreciate that. Uh, listeners, super super funny, Poor, a very funny, good pal of ours. Anything else you got the folks out there know you got coming up? Follow me on uh, Instagram, Mr. Graham K. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. Buddy, I, buddy. I, I have a present for you guys. Uh -oh. it's probably, a, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's uh, you know, it's I know you, this is a you know, it's a trashy thing to have a uh, ah. uh what did it say? Uh, air freshener uh -huh. in your car? I got I got Graham K. Air freshener. It says Whoa. be safe, Whoa. drive safe. Drive That's pretty safe. sweet. Yeah, that doesn't look like you though, really. I think it's a guy who kind of looks like it's, you when you bought him at the Salvation it's Army. It's Ethan Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Costa a little bit. What's going on? I know. I got a big problem. I look like too that's much like Costa. Buddy, that's beautiful. Thank you That'll so much. Set. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely. Thank you, buddy. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, guys, we are all over the road out there. Mm -hmm. uh, link is in the description. Get your fucking tickets. Atlanta. We have two shows in Atlanta. The Red Clay Comedy Festival. You can get tickets just for that show or the whole of yeah. the whole festival if you want. Come see We're us in We're in Atlanta. Charlotte. We're Added a show in Rhode Island. Added a show in Boston. Those are going to sell out. Get those tickets. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace.